My top boss, are you thinking about going solar? This is the best video that you can watch for you to make a better decision when it comes to powering your home, that of your customer, as well as powering your business. A power backup is normally having this inverter. The inverter is the central system that takes good care of the entire solar power backup. In a solar power system where you have the battery bank, the solar as well as electricity, you have a lot of options right there. This system can give power output to the load from the battery bank, from the solar panels directly, as well as from the electricity. If you have a system whereby the solar is primarily the source of power. That means you have the solar panels as well as the batteries. It means that you don't have grid supply. This system is referred to as off-grid system. It will definitely supply your power needs without necessarily you worrying about national grid connectivity. For this system to work efficiently, it means that the load has to be determined prior. That means if someone is working on giving you the best power source that is off-grid, they must know the load that you have. And very importantly, how long is the load in use, especially in a single day? If for instance you have a microwave, how long is the microwave used in total? in a period of 24 hours all right now the inverter is very very important because it will be able to charge your battery if let's say you have connected solar panels the panels will definitely charge your battery or your battery bank or your power bank through this inverter now top boss if you are finding value out of our today's video smash that like button my top boss before you connect the inverter you must read the manual properly because different inverters are made different by the manufacturers but basically for the inverter to be connected you must know how it is mounted whether it is on the wall or some surface somewhere now you must prioritize ventilation prioritize the flow of air in that room or that place that you're installing that inverter. If there is insufficient airflow, it means that these vents on this inverter will definitely be blocked or they will have issues absorbing all the air for it to cool. Remember, whenever the inverter is charging or it is connected to a heavy load, it will definitely be hitting the ICs or the integrated circuits components and the fans will have to run. These fans will have to absorb the air through the vents as well as push that hot air out of the ICs to ensure that that inverter is performing efficiently. Another important thing when it comes to this inverter, the question or the most important question is, can it be able to handle the load that it has been connected? Simply because it is an inverter, it is able to give an output of AC and power on that extension or that socket doesn't mean it will be able to support it. And therefore, working out on the load is very important when it comes to the inverter. Another important point when wiring this system, my top boss, is to ensure that you always have a multimeter. Sometimes you may make mistakes while installing it. Before powering it on before connecting the panels to the inverter before connecting the battery to the inverter top boss ensure that you take the readings ensure that everything is okay using this digital multimeter so that this will save you a lot of faults when you are connecting the cables either from the panels to the inverter or from the battery to the inverter ensure that you check for faults such as a short circuit thank you so much my top boss for watching this video if you have not subscribed subscribe to our channel top heights electricals and electricians so that you don't miss any episode that we release regarding especially this subject on the solar backup and my friend if you have already subscribed thank you so much 
for that my top boss it means a lot to us my name is john gatehi and this is top heights electricals and electricians goodbye for now